Hi everyone, and yeah, I'm late, but I've already made it. I've already explained why I'm going to be slightly late on these Monday who would win. Point is, still I'm doing it. Uh, so Brandon Whitman asked the question, who would win, Flash or Weiss? But to be fair, he did not ask, and this is interesting. He did not ask who would win in a fight. He asked for a race between Weiss and the Flash, uh, which is interesting. I haven't done a non-actual fight, just a race, kind of like Superman and uh, Flash uh, race that happened. Um, so to understand that, and then we're, and, and I'll be flat out honest. In a fight, Weiss is going to win because Flash certainly has learned to fight, but and learned to you know save the day and things along those lines. But it's not the same. It, it's it's not the same level uh, in principle because Weiss has so many other abilities. Flash is fast; he can create lightning, hyper size speed, travel through time. Weiss can reverse time. Um, you know, uh, superior strength more likely. Uh, Ultra instinct, which we're not even going to get into that kettle of fish. Create matter from nothing. Create pretty much anything from nothing. Uh, divine energy. Uh, he he's got a lot more on his plate. And, and point being, in a fight, Weiss I'm certain wins. In a race, there's a different kettle of fish. Now, with the Flash, we know the Flash is fast enough to not just break the chronal barrier, the time barrier. It's capable of traversing through time, dimensions. It's not, an, uh, it's never, we don't know his true full potential in terms of speed. Uh, there's a lot of conflicting reports saying like he wants to travel 13 trillion times the speed of light, that he traveled like, millions of times the speed of light. There's no confirmed or unconfirmed speed feat for Flash to really give us a max potential because he, we've never really truly seen his max potential because once he hits a certain amount of speed, he starts to go into time streams and things along those lines. But generally speaking, most people say he can go millions of times the speed of light. Easy. Now, um, in, in that sense, that means because it takes a year for light to travel to a certain uh, point. Like a light year is literally how many a year it takes for light to reach a certain point. That means that's what light speed technically is. Uh, and, and a light year is. So to understand that, we have, and it's, this is math that's way beyond my uh, pay grade of nothing right here. I'm going to do the best I can, but I know I'm going to mess some things up. So bear with me, be kind. Uh, but we know Barry Allen can travel. Um, speeds faster than the speed of light and we know he can move so fast that he can actually blip a few seconds it, it, that's actually how he outran a uh, black i think it was a black lantern ring i think it was a black lantern ring at one point is that the ring was keeping up with him and it was about to hit him but he moved so fast at one point that he jumped a couple seconds in time and the ring lost track of him because of that <laughs> so it's like that's that speed that you cannot mess with however with a Wii any, any Dragon Ball character feat is really hard to do when you're looking at actual straight numbers, particularly when you get into Super that doesn't really have many number feats to go by. Or, like, um, consequence of, like, Beerus and Goku really shaking the universe apart with their punches or ripping the universe a bit. That's something you can actually theoretically measure. But other, other things are really hard to do. However, Whis and Beerus have traveled from not necessarily one side of the universe to the other, because they travel from the co their world, which pr pretty much exists outside the overall universe, uh, it's it's like here's the universe and they like exist above it, kind of like the Kai's planet do as uh, does as well. Um, that they traveled from King Kai's to uh, Earth in like around 23 minutes. Now we don't know exactly where that takes place in, but we can more or less guess that it had to have been at least over 50% of the way just from the distance it must have been, because it took 23 minutes to do so. Uh, and in Beerus comments, that's, just, that's like the run of an anime episode. So we have to assume they can travel at least half the length of the universe, half the length of the universe in around 23 seconds, or 23 minutes, sorry. So the question then becomes, um, is and that's, just, and that's dealing with Beerus there as well, it, you can imply that Whis can move faster than that, traveling speed-wise. We also know he can teleport things along those lines. That's the thing. Whis can also teleport. And if, if we're go, but if we're going by a, di if, but if we're going to be fair, we're going to make this just a speed uh, race, not hey, we're going to teleport from one side of the universe to the other. And also to be fair in this race, we're going to say that Barry's not. It, both these guys can make the distance without tiring. Because it, it, doing a doing a length of um, doing a a race and having someone tire out that wouldn't be fair. So to be fair, 
both these guys have the same amount of stamina to keep it up, keep it up and make it to the other side if they need to. So the question now becomes, who wins? Well, again, without we don't know the size of our universe really. Um, uh, a galaxy, see, a galaxy you can actually somewhat measure because we've seen galaxies. We can see them through telescopes and things along those lines. A uh, a universe where all these galaxies fit in. We, we can't measure that. We just can't. Um, so, if we're assuming that beer, uh, that we've traveled half the length of the universe, and we're just making an assumption of that, and I'm lowballing it. I, I, it could be more, it could be less. I'm just giving a general lowball estimate. If we're assuming that in 23 minutes, we could do half the universe, or ha half the universe's length. Then, and if we're going to, even if we'll go by the t 13 trillion times faster, faster than the speed of light feet for Flash, um, because a light, and let me actually look up the speed of a light year. So, li uh, so light year, a light year, actually a light year speed. There we go. Um, so let's see here now. Uh, it's about how far is a light year? So a light year is roughly... A star, a star, blah, blah, blah. Our star is equal to about three, 93 million miles. He did the relating stars. All right, that's fine. Uh, and I really should have probably looked this up. For general reference, there are about 36 astronomers. Okay, the closest Earth uh, to our sun is uh, uh, 1.4 light years away. Uh, scaling Earth's. Okay, so that's. Okay, that's not a actual light year. Okay, light is the fastest moving stuff in the universe, travels uh, 186,000 miles in a second, uh, about 7.5, so if that's very fast, you could travel the speed of light, you would re circle the Earth's equator about 7.5 times in just one second. A light second is the distance travel, light travels in one second, 7.5 distance here, okay, a light, so how far is that? Multiplying the numbers of seconds in one year by numbers of miles in a kilometer that travels in one second, there you have one light year. It is about 1.8, excuse me, 5.88 trillion miles. Now, uh, to understand the speed of light, and this is going to go to some freaking high metaphysics that I am doing right on the fly here. So if I get anything wrong, do not get on my ass. Um... Again, so trillion miles. Now, if you're going, you know what? I have a calculator right here. Give me a second. This is going to get really convoluted really fast. But, so 800, uh, 1,800, excuse me, 1,000, excuse me, 186,000 miles in a second. So in a minute, which is times 60, you are going, so, okay, a trillion times that is... Uh, well, actually, that's pretty easy to do, actually. Uh, a trillion times that is roughly... Uh, keep doing, carrying it over just briefly, adding the extra zeros on that. No longer becomes a trillion, becomes a quintillion. Or no, a quadrillion. Roughly 186 quadrillion. Um, so, actually, that means the Flash can now travel... Jesus! The Flash, that means... Completely eclipses that feat. Um, yeah, what the hell? He completely eclipses that. And just that, now you multiply that by another 13 times. And you're getting somewhere in the neighborhood. So that that's actually a bit easier to do. Uh, quintillion, give or take. And I am really... Let me do, actually, let me do that part real quick. Sorry about this, folks. I didn't... I didn't think, again. I maybe I should have done this, but I thought this was going to be a pretty quick one in my head. No, there's some uh, there's some heavy duty math going here. We're talking 5.58 quintillion miles an hour that the Flash theoretically travels. That means not all, he can travel if we're going to divide that number. But oh god, dividing that number. Um, if we're going to divide that number by the trillion. And again, I am real. I'm I'm pretty much just going off the top of my head here at the moment. Flash can go about a give or take, give or take. Flash is capable of somewhere in the neighborhood 
of if because if we times it by a hundred, there you go to that. Uh, then you times it by another two hundred. You times it by a thousand. You go to that. Uh, the Flash is capable of going about a million light years in a second. If he really, if we're gonna really highball that to the thirteen trillion times, uh, time a uh, thirteen trillion times the speed light, he can go somewhere in the neighborhood of in a second if he's uh if he is pushing himself to his probably brink and we're gonna say that's his limit he can go somewhere in the neighborhood of a million times faster or a million light years in a second if he had to and i'm probably getting all of that math wrong so knowing that a million light years is and to put that in perspective um the Andromeda Galaxy is 2.5 million light years away. Uh, so in a second, he can go almost half this, uh, get almost to the Andromeda Galaxy. Uh, he can, Jesus. And again, that is pretty, pretty much uh, highballing him to his atmost feet. That's supposedly calculated. If we scaled back to that, maybe like 10 times the speed of light kind of feet that I hear is the more regular one. Uh, or well, not something around it, average to that. Then you're then you're looking at something that's far more easily calculable, uh, and then you're probably looking at give or take, uh, it's like 10, 10 million times that. You're looking about you add that on. You're looking at ten billion, and add that on. You're looking at about one point something trillion. So flash that means flash can go if we go by the low ball feet, which. Because let's be clear, right now, if we're going by that feat, I think... Again, I don't know the size... Without knowing the size of the universe, this is an impossible thing to really say. I'm going to say that we went half the distance of the universe in 23 minutes, and the Flash can go over a million... Go basically a million light years in a second. <sighs> I'm going to say... That Weiss would win. Yeah, Weiss would win. Weiss would uh, no, no, we sorry. Flash would win in that car. So if we're going by the thirteen trillion times faster than the speed of light feet, well, Flash would win because let's be clear: in literally a minute, you're going sixty million light years in just one minute. But actually, you know what? That's an interesting. You know what? That means that uh, comparatively. To say that in 20... Basically, that, that's the way you actually have to do it. In 23 minutes, we... Let's theoretically say we spent half the distance of the universe in 23 minutes. If you scale that up, 60... He goes 60 million light years in a minute. You scale that up again 23 times. That means... In one second here, get, we're going to get the calculator out again for that feat. Uh, but that one, that one's actually something I can do. So 23 times 60. It's like, why are you doing that? Because it's easier. That means, give or take, one point. 3.8, so we'll round out to 1.4 billion light years in 23 mi minutes. Give or take. Now, the question is, does we travel farther than that? Yeah. If I'm going to assume the universe is far larger than that, then I'm going to say it's close, but I think Weiss wins. I think Weiss wins because I don't think that was the limit of his capabilities either. Um... Him, it, because he had Beerus with him, and Beerus is actually not as strong as Whis. But you know what? I can't even do the numbers on this. I like, I can't, I legitimately can't do any of the, um, like, how many times out of 10 or whatever numbers, because the numbers in this just are freaking, not, this, these, these are incalculable numbers for this feat. But if you're going to ask me in my feeble minded brain, what I, th how I think this is going to play out. I'm going to say Weiss wins? That's because the sheer size of the universe has to be beyond, well beyond, like, a couple billion light years. It has to be far beyond our comprehension. Uh, because we've, we've seen other galaxies, but we've never, like, touched whatever the edge of the universe is. We know there is an end and then there is points of the universe because it expands, which means there has to be a point where the universe stops. Where it stops, God knows, because we will never probably be able to figure that out. But I'm gonna say in both scenarios, if you low in the low ball feet, I think we definitely wins. In the high ball feet, just because of the sheer size of the universe, 
and because we just don't know how far him and Beerus traveled, I'm just I'm giving a safe fifty percent right there. Uh, and because that's it seemed like a um, a a saw a very large feat again without knowing it, we we just have no way of figuring it out. I'm gonna say yes. Weast what would win the win the race, and Weast wins the fight too. By the way, if it's a fight, Weast wins the fight. But again, I just can't do the numbers on that one, man. Not in the race. Not see in a fight, it's different. In the fight, I can give you how many times this person beats them based on their abilities and likelihood of scenarios playing out. And in a race, it's just a straight point A to point B with maybe hitting some obstacles. So, yeah, I. I and, and we can't give obstacles to this. We just got to give a straight go. So I have to just give my thought who I think probably comes out on top. And I think it's going to be Whis. Just because of the sheer size of the universe, a lot of assumptions having to be made, and a, and a lot of lack of information on what we uh, Flash's true capabilities are. So, yeah, I, I, I do not know. I, 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 I give you my best guess, and that is Whis. If you think different... Absolutely think different. I am not going to... Please, give me some information. If you can give me some information, true information. Because let's be clear. That's a lot of fans calculating stuff. There's no concrete number on that for the Flash. So even if you're going to give me the 13 trillion times feet, know that you're welcome to that opinion. But that's a very... That's a, that's a very biased opinion based on just what a lot of fans have tried to calculate. And granted, I get that's what I do on this. Uh, <laughs> that's what I do on this um, show too. That's what I do. I calculate. But say like, no. But just to, even if you do give me that feed, just don't state it as fact. It's not fact unless someone actually said it in the comic canon, which maybe someone did. I didn't read that. Um, don't don't state it as fact. You can give me that opinion, or you can give me just your opinion. That's cool. Also, if you can maybe give me. An idea how far we traveled, maybe how fast we really went. That's cool too. But let's just be cool about it because let's be clear. I fully admit in this episode, I have very little idea what I'm talking about. I am going off a lot of assumptions. But anyway, thanks for watching and indulging me. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of it at some point. I do have a win, Star Wars, Superior Magic, what if, anything I do on the channel, put in the comments below. Let me know. I'll get to it at some point. Um, I'll do another Who Would Win before the day is out, just so I can have it set up for tomorrow. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.